if you are out of instruments to deal with unfolding climate change crisis, obviously you must devise new ones. This is going to be my story. Uh, during my career in theoretical physics, I deal with very abstract problems. But in the last couple of years, I decided to take some time to work on the climate change crisis. I think it's a legacy to the future generations, if, it, uh, if you want. So, but before I go into that, let me tell you something that uh, you already know. We are the masters of the planet. This defines a, a new geological era called the Anthropocene that starts 70 years ago. This is very interesting <laughs> and it brings a host of uh, new problems. Climate change, uh, destruction of ecosystems, extinction of species and so on. Another important concept to grasp is the one of Earth system. The, the complex machinery that makes the planet habitable. Earth is a dynamic planet and throughout its history it has changed due to natural forces of astronomical, geological and internal nature. As such, it's therefore quite natural when you look to the temperature record, it's the top diagram in blue line, it, the temperature goes up and down. However, about 12,000 years ago, these natural forces averaged out and we are left with a remarkable period of climate instability, the so-called Holocene. It's within the Holocene that our civilizations have thrived. And it's the instability of the Holocene that is under jeopardy by the human activities. Indeed, since 1950s, human uh, endeavors are accelerating. And so, for instance, uh, uh, greenhouse uh, gases, and if those grow, we should expect a rise in the temperature. That's exactly what you see in the, in the record, a steady increase of the temperature from 1950s onwards. You can see how steep is this change if you put things in perspective of 2,000 years. You see this sharp rise. So the issue is what's going to happen in the future. You know, you want to keep it bound by 1.5 degree by the Paris Agreement. However, a very conservative uh, organization, the International Panel of Climate Change, in fact predicts that uh, most likely the temperature will rise to 2.5 to 5 degrees. If so, that's very, very complicated. It may even bring the collapse of our civilization. It will certainly indicate that your system is moving away from the Holocene. There is a wealthy body of knowledge uh, concerning the dangers of the Earth system running at uh, such a high temperature. In fact, this has been highlighted and put forward in a paper that appeared last year, in which the authors identified the main major components of the Earth system, and their conclusion is that all of the systems may collapse if the temperature is, is by the end of the century, is, is higher than five degrees, the present one. So this is, of course, uh, uh, dramatic. As I have told you, we've been working ourselves uh, on this problem, and since last year, we put forward a physical model that explains the transition from the Holocene to the Anthropocene. That means that uh, we can have the evolution equation of the Earth system. This is the called the Anthropocene equation, and uh, through this equation, we have found some conclusions that match the ones of the waters I have mentioned. Namely, that the Earth system is evolving from the Holocene towards the state through those oscillations on which the temperature is much higher and it's being driven by human activities represented in this diagram by the capital letter H. Well, this is already very serious, therefore. And even more so if we think what happened in Amazon last month. As you know, we responsibly, uh, in a few weeks, 3,000 kilometers squared of rainforest has simply been whipped out. 
that includes the, the loss of several millions of trees. In fact, Amazon is a prototype of type of problems we face nowadays. From one hand, we have economical winters. From the other hand, we have the interests of everybody else. And if you understand the problem, Amazon, which I mentioned, is one of the key elements of the Earth system, you understand it all. Just ask yourself how much it's worse economically. And the answer is uh, an astonishment, zero euros. Because in order to bring the Amazon rainforest into the economic chain, it doesn't internalize the, the destruction it causes to the service it provides to the Earth system. In fact, the same type of conclusions are, could be reached for any major component of the Earth system. Well, this is what I call a nightmare of rationality. This leads us to what I also call the predicament of the Anthropocene. From one hand, we have a global climate change crisis. We have a, a global and somewhat dysfunctional market economy. We have a global science. We have a global risk of unemployment and poverty. We have global risk of use of disruptive technologies. And in order to face those, we have just few international institutions, and we have uh, a whole juridical framework that mainly built to act within the boundaries of each country. We have very few instruments to go beyond these boundaries. Therefore, we must, of course, devise new legal instruments. That's the motivation of the common home of humanity, the planetary condominium. A condominium, I remind you, is a property on which you have two parts two types of ownership, a common ownership and a private ownership. It's legally constituted in this way, on its very root. So the idea of the planetary condominium is to consider countries as the apartments and the earth system as the collective property. Therefore, the objective of this planetary condominium is to recognize the earth system as a heritage of humankind as far as it works we see in the favorable Holocene conditions. The second uh, goal is to keep the system running into these favorable conditions uh, through a system of quotas that are scientifically sound and uh, accepted by everyone. The common home of humanity, the planetary condominium, was established last year in Porto with the seminal partnership of the University of Porto, of Camara Municipal de Porto, and many other institutions, including the European Space Agency. But uh, every one of you is welcome to join us. Let me close down with an idea that I borrowed from a song that I believe everyone loves. Imagine the Earth as an immense condominium. Thank you. <laughs>